exciting video today for a couple of reasons. Main one though is, Ohuhu sent me their new pack of fine liners and gel pens. Now, nah, there's three different sets that I received. So listen, it's mandatory I open these up, inspect them a little bit more, and of course, I gotta see how they work on paper. So, I'm gonna open this pack first, the liquid fine liner pen Kohala. Now, this is a nine pack, as you can see. I'm gonna show you the different sizes, get a little close up of those, but no time to waste. Let me just, um, pour these out the packages right here get my hands on them but um i was reading the website and apparently that black part is the ink like you can see the actual ink ink level in the pens so you know when you're running out let me show you the pen tip get a little close up but yeah like i was saying that middle barrel of the marker is apparently transparent so you can be able to see the ink but let me get these packed up back in here because i got some other sets that i need to open can i just get this in okay so next up you can see we got the gel ink pens pack of 12 which includes white silver and gold let me get these poured out now i forgot to mention i'm pretty sure all of these pens are the same size but here's a closer look at the body of them also gotta throw in a close-up of the gold and the white gel pens but speaking of white gel pens you know i use that a lot i use those a lot in my art so i'm really happy they were included in this pack let me put these away because the next pen set, the next one, is the one I'm the most excited for out of these three. So we gotta get this out, which is the Hana Highway Colored Fine Line Pens. So let me show you the different sizes and the colors included in this pack. There's 18 different pens included in here. Now I'm, I actually like this all black design too, the marker body or the pen body. Now I'm excited for these because now, it's been a long time since I used colored fine liner pens. I can't, I really can't remember the last time I used them. So it's going to be different, something new. Let me just try this. Hopefully the camera will focus on a pen tip a little bit. But listen, very important part next. I'm going to have to lay them down on paper, swatch them just so we can see the different sizes and the colors next to each other. We got to see what they look like. So you can see I got my sketchbook out and now I'm gonna pull out these, um, the colored fine line. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble saying that, but I'm gonna pull out the colored pens and try them. So these were the normal fine liners that were included in the pack. Now let me get the color on. All right, man, so you can see how they're looking, how they actually look on paper. Let me give you a little close up so you can see it better. But I'll include too to some pictures from the website, the Hoo website, what they look like. But moving forward, it's important I get a blank page ready so I can lay down the liquid fine liner set. See, you see the different sizes involved in here. So let me get to work with this. Just finishing up here, but you can see how these are looking on the paper. Same with the last one, I'll include pictures from the website. Now I'm not gonna swatch these gel pens at the moment. I think I'm gonna save them for the drawing, which is coming next. So here's the sketch I plan on using the pens with. Now I had to do a quick little fall theme sketch. It is the fall, so I wanted to showcase the season through the sketches, but of course you know why we're here. Let me start inking this. So I'm getting started off with the liquid fine liners. And I'm on the thinner side in terms of pen size, as you can see. I haven't ran into any problems so far. But let me set this pen aside so I can get rid of these pencil lines. Show the progress so far, but you know, this is false. So I am gonna have to grab out my markers. I wanna put on some, wow, I knew that would happen. But I wanna color some fall colors on this leaf and, and the other stuff I drew too. So yeah, I'm gonna add some color to this. But also in the future when I'm using these pens, it's gonna be in combination with markers and colors. So you wanted to see what it looks like now. But listen, man, so far so good. I think next I'm gonna try out some more of the bold outliners. For me, when I'm inking, I like having contrast in the line work, meaning some lines are gonna be more bold and others are gonna be more thin rather than just having a consistent size throughout the whole piece. But let me add some little color to the um, candy corn. I almost forgot what these were, candy corn. Time to pull these out. Gotta work on this acorn. I'm gonna try using the colored fine liners. 
I'm utilizing the brownish fine liner at the moment for the outlines of the acorn. I do want things to be a little bit more vibrant, so I pulled out the orange fine liner, and I'm just gonna add like a little, well, this is gonna be a bold outline just across the whole entire acorn. And here's the result. I actually like this, it looks nice, but I'm gonna splash on some color real quick, same with the last couple items. Now, I still got that orange fine liner on deck because, I mean, it makes perfect sense to outline the pumpkin using the orange, so I, I ain't get rid of it. Instead of using a color though, I'm gonna use a really thin liquid fine liner for the details inside the pumpkin. Still has some pencil lines in here that need it to be erased real quick. Now I was considering cross hatching the pumpkin using the orange fine liner, but I don't know, I felt like the orange marker would be a little bit easier. Pivotal part of the video here, I'm bringing open the gel pens. I'm using the gold ones on this pumpkin stem right here. Now this is sort of like a glitter gold. Now, I ain't gonna put it away yet. I'm also gonna use it to um, outline this cookie. Now, I, I know this isn't the best looking cookie. You know, it's a little bit off, but use your imagination. It could be a little bit better. I'm actually really liking this gold on um, gel pen. Let me show you a close up. I think that looks really nice. I like that. Of course, I gotta add some color to this, but so far it's looking, I, I think the gel pen, the gold gel pen, that's my favorite. I like that. I wish I would've used more of the colored fine liners though in this, but let me just hold up so you can get another close up view. Now I'm gonna bring out the white gel pens just to add some highlights on this. So let me throw these in real quick and then I'm gonna fade to the reveal. <laughs> yeah, I, I really had trouble saying that, but reveal. You can see the results, man. Listen, I had a lot of fun playing around with these pins, the fine liners, gel pins. I wish I would've used more of the colored fine liners, but I'm gonna be using more of them in the future. So thank you again to Ohuhu for sending me these products. I'll have the links in the description of the video, but new videos coming soon. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out, man.